hello welcome to my channel today is the king shooter if it's your first time of joining us thank you for clicking to this and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your support so far okay and show you like this video please comment and share this video okay now today we want to start co um continue from our series which is um the book of um account okay and well, i want to see the sales day book I want to see the sales table now we have started um different um aspect before we have seen the books of accounts that comprise of the subsidiary book and the principal book okay if you have not seen that video i will drop it in my description or i'll drop it up here so that you watch that before this ensure you watch that okay so now a quick recap we saw the books of account we said the subsidiary book are um, the book for the first recording of a transaction okay in which is done for a temporal purpose why the principal book is where all transactions are there on a permanent basis okay i will say the um, subsidiary book of account is six okay six books under the subsidiary book and we have the sales day book there purchases day book we have the return inwards um, book or the sales return purchase return book or the return outwards and we also have the general journal or the journal proper and we also have the cash book so today we want to see the sales day book and also how to solve that so we said the sales day book is the book sales day book is also known as sales journal okay now we said this is a book that is used to record credit sales only cash sales are not recorded in this book is used for recording credit sales only okay now this book record transactions of credit sales and the total is posted to the sales account in the ledger the total of all the credit sales is posted to the credit side of the sales account in the general ledger now we talked about ledger okay that was why i recommended that video and show you watch the video okay so we said the total of the sales day book every item we had the filter we have as the credit sales is posted to the what credit side of the sales um, account in the general ledger why the individual um debtors those that bought from us is posted in the what debit side of their private uh, personal ledger okay so we are going to see that now let's see the format of a sales day book how does a sales day book look like a specimen okay and the format looks stores you can have dates then it's all called particulars then also there is what we call folio and there is the amount the date the particulars the folio and the amount now what's the date the date is the particular day when the transaction took place comprised of the day the month and the year when the transaction took place is recorded here now the particulars comprise of the name because the sales day book might comprise of several customers that bought from us on credit okay so it will contain the name of the debtors those that bought the customers and their transaction is recorded in the particulars what they bought the name of the customer and what they bought and the folio a folio is called a cross-reference okay now the folio will be posted or written there where that particular um, amount will be posted to in the what a ledger or where you can see um that um particular um account where you can see that particular amount where it will be posted to okay individually so we can see that you are referencing another account where it can be seen that is what we um we posted in the folio why the amount is the exact um cash and the exact amount not cash cash sales does not come here the exact amount in which that item was bought for on credit okay so that's the um how the format looks like so we're gonna see this 
We are going to see this um, example for the sales table and record it. Okay. So the question said, enter the following in the sales day book of in sales day book for the month August 2021. Now, August 1st, 2021, they sold to Obi 20 bags of sugar at 40 naira each, 12 plates at 140 each. August 12th, they sold to Ada 12 bags of cement at 45 naira each. Five packet of tea at 15 naira each and trade discount at 10 percent. Now, August 27 sold to Kwame 15 shoes at 65 naira each, 100 packet of shirts at 30 naira each, trade discount at 5 percent. Now, before we continue, um, I saw trade discount there most time in most of this transaction, they might be giving a trade discount. A trade discount is the reduction in the catalog price, okay in the retail price of that item it is given by the buy uh, by the buyers it's given by the manufacturers to the what the buyers okay a reduction in the amounts that is supposed to be paid okay most time they might want to what give a discount on the what the amount that is supposed to be paid based on probably the um the quantity that was bought okay so trade discount most time is what being given so we are going to record this in the sales day book now let's record let's record this now we're going to prepare how it should look like so say yes yeah, our date if i have my amounts here yeah. So, I can put here as my date, then here as my particulars, then here is my folio, then I can put some um, details, which can still be amounts, okay? Now, the first one said in August 1st, so right here, August 1st. It says sold to OB. So write sold to OB. Or just write the name of. Just write the name OB. 20 bags of sugar at 40 naira each. So write 20 bags. Twenty bags of sugar. At fourteen naira each. So it will be. So now they say twenty bags of sugar at fourteen naira each. So it will be twenty times forty, which will give us eight hundred. That's eight hundred. The next one, 12 plates at 140 each. So we have 12 plates at 140 each. So 12 times 140. So 12 times 140 will give us 1,680. So when we add these two together so that we can have the amount here, as a reason for this column to do any rough work so this plus 800 will give us 2480 that is for ob okay so that's for ob so the next one is for ada and it said it's august 12 to ada Twelve bags of cement at forty-five naira each. And I said twelve bags of cement at forty-five naira each. So it will be twelve times forty-five because it said each. So it is five forty 
Now the next one is five packet of tea. Five packet of tea at 15 Naira each. So five times 15. Because once they say each, it means per one is that amount. So five packet of tea at 15 Naira each. So it means five times 15 is on the five. So 540 plus 75. We give us 615. Now, this amount 615, they say trade discount at 10%. It means instead of Ada to pay this amount, they give her a discount to reduce it by what 10%. So, we are going to calculate the discount. So, we have trade discount. Now, they said it's 10%. Now, it means 10% of the total of this amount that she purchased so it will not be 10 percent is 10 over 100 times 615 so 10 percent of 615 will give us 61.5 approximately 62 so this can means we have to reduce it so we reduce it so 615 minus 62 615 minus 62 we give us five five three okay so the next one is um kwami so we have august 27 kwami now kwami they sold to him 15 shoes at 65 naira each. So we have 15 shoes at 65 naira each. So it will be 15 times 65 as 975. Same way, they say 100 packets shirt as 13 naira each. 100 packets or cost space, let's say 100 shirt at 13 naira each that is 100 times 13 will give us 1 3 so to get this total 1 3 plus 975 is 2 2 7 5 so the same thing they say trade discount at five percent okay so trade discount at five percent so we have here trade discount at five percent five percent of this total amount so it will be five over hundred times two two seven five so five percent of is 113.75 so it is approximately 114 so it means we are going to deduct 114 so 275 2275 minus 114 will give us 2161 2161 so that is for Kwame so Kwame is owing 2161 um, at that 553 and will be 2480 so to add everything now we have 2161 plus 553 plus 2480 will give us 5194 5194 so 5194 is the total amount that is supposed to be collected from these three debtors okay so 5194 so that is how to prepare the sales daybook. Now, had it been where asked to post to a ledger, they will see, see how to post to a ledger. So this 5194 will be transferred to the sales account at the credit side. Why? In their individual ledger. Now, in the folio now, we will now write here this amount 
for OB, it is going to the sales ledger. Then for ADA, the same thing, sales ledger. Then for Kwame, the same thing, sales ledger. Okay? So in the sales ledger, that's a private ledger, we are going to record this total amount for OB at the debit side. ADA, record this also, debit side. Kwame, this also, debit side. Why the corresponding entry? Because ledger now has to do with double entry. Corresponding entry will now go to the word sales account in the general ledger as this total amount 5194. Okay, that is what comprises of the sales in the sales account. Okay, though we are going to see that when we are treating the ledger, but this is for how to record in the word day books okay thank you very much now before you go we have treated um, our introduction video on on this before and sure you watch that i'm going to leave it here watch this there's a video watch it now okay and sure you watch that now this is an episode this is an episode this is an episode we're going to see the next one which is the purchases day book and also how to stop and sure you have like comment and subscribe thank you very much